Hello everybody and welcome to the Idiot's Guide to Coma. So if you don't know the new update in RA Collection, it removed the stat buffing functionality from scenes and a new equipment system has been added in, somewhat similar to games like My Hero Academia or Bleach, um, but the items you are equipping are Coma, which are sort of the panels from a manga. Um, and the idea is these are farmable, um, potentially in the future we're going to be seeing a lot more different kinds of them with different abilities and this video is just to explain in as much detail as I have been able to figure out what you're doing. So to start off click this button down here in the bottom right and I'll take you to the character menu and there are two options down at the bottom here. One of those on the left is sell. Don't click that one you don't want to sell your coma. The one on the right here this is the Coma Equip Panel. Now, when choosing which characters to equip Coma to, if you're talking about PvE, you know, units like uh, Pegasus Sayer, or I suppose it's Sagittarius Sayer, and uh, the units that you're going to be using a lot for very difficult stages, absolutely good choices. Um, the focus for PvP is mainly going to be um, units that are lacking support a little bit, and units that were already powerful that you're going to make even more ungodly levels of powerful. So, to start off with, let's click on Ayamano. Now, from here, you can see some panels down below, some coma down below. Um, you can equip six coma to each character. Once you have equipped one to a character, it is set to that character. So it's not like per team or whatever like the scenes were. That coma is on that character and you have to in fact pay gold to remove it. Um, so each one can only be used um, by one character at any one time. But if you use gold to remove it, it goes back into your coma box and you can use it again. Um, to equip it, there are two buttons here when you click on a coma. The one on the left is equip and the one on the right is to power up. Um, each one has 12 levels I believe. Yep, 12 levels is... Level 12 is where you get your final additional effect. You get them at 4, 8 and 12. And it only costs gold to level up, which is pretty cool. Uh, the downside is that uh, there is some RNG involved. If you've ever done leveling up boats on OPTC, there is a chance to fail. And here there is in fact... A chance to fail you might get lucky in the first few levels are just a gimme um, but as it gets up and up the levels it gets harder and harder and as you can see I just failed there uh, with perfect timing uh, so if I wanted to equip this to Ayamano boom there you go equipped Ayamano now that was a number one coma so as you can see there's a number one coma here and well that was the only other one in my box but once there is a number one in her number one slot, you can't put another one, number one on her. You can only put a two, three, four, five, or six. Each one is a different shape and therefore it can only fit in its designated slot. Um, now if you want to see how the additional bonuses work, um, because there are additional bonuses, um, I'm going to put the image on the screen now and I'm going to explain what each of those entail. So with the new set bonuses strong blow uh which is the one with the fist on it by getting four of those you get an additional plus 25 percent attack for that character a very nice buff but arguably not one of the best out of the ones available um now the next one is the iron wall coma just two of those and you get minus 10% damage received, which is very nice. Um, two Satisfaction, which is the one with the heart with an arrow through it. Um, two of those will get you plus 12% chance of critical hits. Um, two Mystery Coma, the one with the big fireball. Um, that will get you plus 15% ultimate attack damage. Uh, four of the Resistance Coma, which I still haven't really worked out what that's supposed to be. There's some like pink uh blobs i don't know um get four of those and you will negate status debuffs three times 
And finally, four of the sleepiness code mark gives you a 25% chance to inflict, inflict the sleep debuff with each normal attack. Um, out of those six, there's various different ways you could look at building. Um, for instance, right here, I could put this number two, this number three, and this number six on. And then I would have the four strong below. And then I could put maybe a one and a two. And I'd have the satisfaction. It should be noted that the rarity doesn't matter for getting the set bonus. Um, but the overall bonuses you get from having higher rarity coma will be a lot higher. So worth trying to get the high rarity ones because those buffs do add up. Um, so here's an example right now if we go on to my boy Gohan. I've put four of the sleepiness on him and you can't see it from here. We have in fact activated the sleepiness debuff, 25% chance to inflict sleep with normal attacks uh, for the first turn only, but still. Um, as you can see here, I got a gold number four, uh, sorry, a gold number one that I got to level four. Uh, we also got a five star, a rainbow number two, a rainbow number five, and a rainbow number six. So those stat buffs, as you can see, are pretty decent and, you know, I don't necessarily know that uh, Sleepiness is the best coma set. I don't think it is. I think Resistance is clearly the best. And then maybe Iron Wall and Mystery. And you, you can experiment with the builds. You can do 2-2-2. Two, two, two. You can do 4-2. You can do 6 of 1. Which, depending on which set you use, is going to get you more of a buff than using another set. There's so many different ways to approach this. And... My personal opinion is this does add a new dimension to gameplay, but it adds this whole other layer of RNG. And what I mean by that is if you look at, let's say, my slot number six, the plus 2000 HP buff, as far as we know, would be standard. However, the three buffs that appear below it, the plus 25 defense, the plus 2% critical hit chance, and the plus 5% defense, as far as we know, are random from a pool. Um, and the reason that could cause issues in uh, PvP is because you could have an identical team matchup with identical coma, except for maybe one of you has this number two with a plus one speed, and the other one doesn't have the plus one speed. It has like increased defense or whatever, and you could lose by that plus one speed. That could be just enough for your character to use their ultimate attack before theirs and. And that's that. Uh, so, whether it's good, whether it's bad, uh, remains to be seen. It definitely adds a new element and it, it gives you things to do. So, it's kind of interesting in that regard. But moving on, let's talk about how you get them. So, you can get them from story mode, which is really nice because if you're a beginner, if you've just started the game, you're going to be starting all the way back here. And they drop on every stage along the way. Um, I, as far as I know, it's random chance or it might be a guaranteed one per run. I don't think that's the case, but possibly. Um, and they're not high rarity, but it gives uh, beginner players a chance to build up their coma deck. And you can, you know, like I said, having five of the matching or six of a matching type. If I go in here and I go to my Sakuragi, I was messing around with stuff. Uh, I've got six mystery panels on there. And each one of these constitutes a plus 15% ultimate attack damage buff. Um, none of these are high rarity. Well, actually, that one's gold. But I think we've got... Oh, wait. Gold. 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 Silver. There we go. Oh. Uh, bronze. Yeah. So, they don't have to be high rarity. They don't even have to be leveled up. And you still get the set bonus. So, having even the two-star ones from story mode, the one-star ones from story mode can make an impact especially on a beginner's account now if we go into the extra quests and down here we have the two stages for farming coma of a higher rarity now these are split into two for the simple reason that if there was six on one stage it would be an absolute nightmare that being said if they only put one on each stage then it would make things a whole lot easier and I think they're not quite ready to make things that easy for us um, because if I was like oh I want resistance I would just farm resistance all day get <laughs> five star uh, resistance panels for all my units and 
boom, there you go, I'm set. So th there kind of has to be an element of, oh, I didn't quite get what I wanted because there's three here, not one set. So the three on the top are Strong Blow, Mystery, and Sleepiness. And the three on the bottom are Iron Wall, Satisfaction, and Resistance. Um, a lot of people are going to be farming this one at the bottom. I was personally farming mostly this one at the top. Uh, it's just going to depend on you, really. It's going to depend on what you're trying to do. Um, you're going to want to, if you can, farm the highest difficulty. Um, essentially, what they've done is, on the lower difficulty, so on Chapter 1 and Chapter 2, which are the two six stamina stages and the two easier stages, as you can see, they've got up to four and a half stars here, but only three stars and three and a half stars here. Um, on these stages, the arguably best coma, which I don't think is really the case, but in the case of the first set of stages, it would be sleepiness, and in the case of the second set of stages, it would be resistance, which definitely is the best out of that set. Um, they are rarer, and not what well, I say rarer, they drop at a lower rarity. So you can see here, uh, the four stars drop for the first two Iron Warned. Uh, oh, wait, no, we're on the wrong stage, sorry. Uh, for Strong Blow and Mystery, and then there is no four star sleepiness here. It starts at three star and it goes down to one star. So, just a heads up if you're new to the game and you're trying to get the high rarity sleepiness or whatever. You've got to do these top two stages. It's the only way to do it. And you can see them obtainable there. Now, with these stages, they are quite difficult. I know it's seven stamina, so it could be a bit misleading. They are quite difficult. Not for veterans, necessarily. You know, if you're like me and you've been playing since day one, you, you wouldn't even have to have tried that hard and your account could probably handle these stages. Um, if you're a beginner, these higher difficulties are going to be a real challenge. Um, I think this is to pre prepare us for the Mihawk and the Freezer, who have the uh, super title, the super assault quests. Um, but basically, on the top stage, this stage here is strength and physical, or red and orange. So you're going to want to bring agile or technique. I haven't actually done the second stage yet, I haven't attempted it. Um, but for that stage, it's Agile and Technique. So you're going to want to bring Intelligence and or Heart Types. Um, and basically just test out the waters. Try and make a team that can, that can beat these stages comfortably, that can auto these stages comfortably. And see what you're capable of. Now, I will point out that there have been a significant amount of glitches since the latest update. Um, some are annoying like not having your friend leader when you're supposed to have say you choose a Saiya and you'll end up with a Goku or something like that um, and some of them supposedly quite game breaking people not being able to download the APK properly um, people having the issue of supposedly there's some bug with the start of story mode and they'd set up the tutorial a bit wrong and it just kind of completely messes with your game these glitches are all going to be addressed uh, soon. They've said soon they're going to sort all this out. I think they're going to drop data downloads that slowly fix these things. So hopefully everyone can get in. Hopefully everyone can play the way they want to play. It is frustrating beyond belief if you don't quite have the right team um, to beat one of these stages without the help of a friend unit. And then you choose the right friend unit and you end up with someone completely different. So... I don't know what to tell you on that one. Hopefully that'll be fixed soon. Maybe by the time this video is up, that'll be fixed. I don't know. Um, but in general, scenes are dead. Coma are the new king. Coma are going to be coming in new game modes and new missions and whatever later in new forms. From what we've seen in the data download, you may even be able to awaken certain Coma at a later date, which makes me think they're going to release one specific to certain characters or certain series or whatever. Um, tower is getting revamped and stuff like that there's there's a lot going on there's a lot coming i hope i've covered everything to do with coma i hope i haven't uh forgotten anything in particular uh and hopefully i've shed some light on what is an interesting if not frustrating game mechanic 
and I hope you guys enjoy it. If you have any questions, put them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, but that's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you all next time.